Hey guys, welcome back to the groom's room where the wedding isn't just about the bride, but it's about the groom too. I am back up here in Knoxville, Tennessee. Was gonna grab lunch with my buddy Matt. And on the way up here, I passed a place called Token Game Cavern. And I'm thinking it probably has bachelor party potential. It's new arcade games, old arcade games. So come along with us. I was talking to Matt about Token Game Tavern, and yep. you've actually been there, am I right? I have, it's a lot of fun, it's really cool. It's got the old fashioned cabinet Big games where you'd go in Frogger, in the 80s. Hubert, yes, Batman. Okay. yes. They had the original Mario Brothers last time I was here. If you're not quite into the cabinet games, they've got console games, Xbox and PlayStation. And if you're really bored, they've got like giant Connect 4 games. Board games, they've got trivia games, but really, for me, the old cabinet games. Right. You put in the token, you hear the clink and the clank. They'll also ply you with beer and food and things like that. So if you need some fries and some beer and uh, you know, to get lost in video game land, this is your place. Oh, and look, see, they're delivering beer right now. That's right, there's the beer man. All right, well, we're gonna go inside and see what it is all about. I did notice on the door, under 21 not allowed after 11 p.m. So. Yes. If you are in Knoxville and you do want to make this your bachelor party and you don't want kids running around, um, come after 11 o'clock. She's seen better days, so. <laughs> it's an old one. I have to go to one of the new ones. All right, Jameson. Yep. Game well spent. We have leftover tokens. We have spent not a considerable amount of time, but I think we spent enough. I think if you can sit down in a video game and challenge each other for the high score and you know, kind of have that competitive nature. My brother and I used to come to the arcade and he and I would always compete against each other. And so we would stay at a game for 30 minutes mm -hmm. just trying to crush the other one. Right. Quite an array of pinball machines. Yeah, I think so. It's a pretty good selection. So how do you choose? What is the, what is the method of choosing the right pinball machine? I think you need something that has a lot of tracks in it and so many flashing lines that you almost start to have some sort of a seizure. Okay. That's so that, that would be the ACDC one. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's pretty intense. So would you recommend this as an alternative to the traditional bachelor party? Absolutely. You can get a nice cold drink. They've got menu items and all sorts of stuff like that. It's very much on theme, very much on point, and so it's, uh, yeah, it's a cool place to hang out. Pinball, I've I, I never felt so gypped in my life. How is it that that ball can go right through between the flippers? That's the secret of the pinball. There's, just, there's a magnet up here. No? Absolutely, absolutely. That's what Roger Daltrey was talking about in Pinball Wizard. Okay, wow, it's going crazy. This is where they get you. This is where they get you. Oh! Oh, that was sad. Kind of sad. Uh, I feel robbed. <laughs> but I want to play again. And you can't say it cheats because it's just gravity and physics. We didn't do the uh, K-pop dance game. For very good reason. It's a terrible game. Guys, if this is your jam and you don't live in Knoxville, get on Google and find an arcade bar yes. in your area. And uh, let I think they're coming back. Let your inner geek out. Yeah, I think they are too. Some of the traditional ones, Frogger. Mario Brothers, Donkey Kong, Junior Donkey Kong. Galaga. Miss Pac-Man. And there's Centipede, um, Millipede. Uh, what, what is the difference in those games? I think about an eighth of an inch. Okay. Oh, there's traditional Pac-Man right there. Cubert. My first introduction to geometry. <laughs> I, I knew I would hate it for the rest of my life. All right, thanks for watching The Groom's Room. We hope this gave you guys some so, somewhat inspiration. of an inspiration alternative to the typical bachelor party. It's a fantasy for a quarter. It's a fantasy for a quarter. Yes. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.